What's up guys, that really gross guy here. We are back and we are going to be talking about today the smaller reveals that came with Tenokan. And these smaller reveals are not going to include the Warframes, the two Warframes. Uh, there is a video that I already did on those, which you can see here up in the corner. And there was also another video which was on the deluxe skins for a, a number of frames, a lot of a lot of different frames and a couple weapons. So if you are interested in that video, you can check those out here. So with that said, what we're going to be looking at today is a few weapons which don't have anything to do with deluxe skins. And we're going to be taking a look at uh let's see, some let's we're gonna take a look at the uh, so there's Venus. We Venus was definitely revealed uh, for, well, I mean, we already knew about Venus, but we got to see Venus. So what I'm going to do actually for the end of this video is in terms of small reveals, we are going to take a walk through the Venus hub, the uh, Fortuna, and we are going to walk around. We are going to see some shops and we are going to talk about what we can find in those shops as well because those are going to be some of the smaller reveals compared to what happens when we actually see Venus on the open world as well as a couple other things you guys can see uh, in a video. If you, Those are going to be the big reveals which you can see uh, if you click on the link here. So with that said, without further ado, let's jump into it. So the first weapon we are going to look at is going to be the Corpus weapons. Corpus bundle uh, is, is well, I guess, what there's going to be, a Corpus bundle. Here is a shotgun, which you can see off to the left, which doesn't look anything too incredibly fancy. Um, it's, it's you know, it's it's not our first uh, ten or Corpus shotgun, so this thing needed to obviously look a little bit different from our previous one. And it looks okay. I'm kind of wondering what this is going to do, what it's going to look like. Um, is it going to be a little bit more laser? I don't know. I'm, I'm not too sure what to expect out of this shotgun. Um, like I said, we already have a Corpus shotgun, so I'm, I'm curious. But I am definitely interested in, over to the right, this Corpus revolver, which looks pretty cool. Uh, I've I heard a number of people that in the audience be like, oh, cool. Yeah, I want, a, I want a Corpus revolver. That's cool. I'm excited for that. And uh, yeah, it looks like it looks interesting. I'm definitely willing to give it a shot. Maybe even maybe we can get a dual wield variant of this revolver, please, DE, sometime. Anyways, uh, so yeah, that looks kind of interesting. I'm definitely interested in getting my hands on that personally. So next up is going to be another Corpus weapon, which is a Corpus Glaive, which uh, it sounded like a number of people were, were pretty excited over this one. Um, personally, I'm not crazy about glaives, but I guess a number of people are because they were excited for this one. Uh, I do absolutely love the aesthetic. I think it looks super cool. I mean, I, I'm, I'm glad to have a glaive in the Corpus aesthetic, so uh, I'm, I'm happy to re be receiving it. So I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. So, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think about the about the weapons. You know, let me know about whatever you want. But uh, how do you feel about the, the glaive? Are you excited to see a new glaive? But anyways, uh, we have a couple weapons that we have seen previously, but I just want to really quickly touch base on those. And one is which is going to be this Grenier Gunstock Club, which I'm under the impression that this is going to be a single wield. Um, it looks like there's two of them in this picture, but I'm guessing that's just to get uh get a you know um you know a look at the two different angles uh and because it says club i'm kind of thinking this is more of a heavy hammer uh which would make this fairly large weapon if not this club would be more of like a, a, a sword like a long sword which i'm curious about so i don't know exactly what to make of this just yet but i mean it looks all right it looks all right i'm you know it's it's nothing nothing crazy uh, but then I am jumping over to the infested heavy sword, which I am super excited about because I, I had wanted an infested heavy sword for a while now, and I'm just I'm just happy they're 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 giving it to us. So we've seen this one before, but here it is once again looking pretty good with the Sugatras, which will come with that. So that's pretty cool. Uh, when I say come with that, I mean you might have to purchase it separately, but Anyways, there it is, looking cool. I'm really excited to throw this on uh, on an infested frame for sure. So, after that, uh, we have the Tenno Dual Axes, which 
I'm I, I'm I'm kind of down for uh, dual axes. You can see these here. It has a definitely a tunnel feel to it. Uh, you know the backside of the the hammer, which you would uh, which or the axe which you would hold, uh, looks very tunnel esque. However, I kind of noticed the blade. The blade honestly reminds me of the the aesthetic choice that the Nidus Deluxe skin is going in. Uh, it looks more like a bone material to me, and I'm super excited about that because now that I've seen these, I'm now considering running these weapons on my Nidus Deluxe when it comes out. So I don't know about you guys, but I'm 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 down with this unless we happen to get another uh, a skin with that Nidus skin that goes on a uh, on a weapon that I would rather use. But right now I'm 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 feeling it. I don't know about you, but. Uh, I'm excited, I'm excited to get these. I'm excited to get these, both mostly for cosmetics. Hopefully, they hold up in terms of stats. But uh, with that said, we are also going to... Here's a big one. This one's awesome. A prime weapon. What prime weapon is that, though? It's the prime gram. The prime gram. Wasn't the gram a corpus weapon? I, I was under the impression they weren't going to be making prime variants of... Uh, of, you know, Corpus or Grenier weapons, but I guess I'm wrong. Has there, you guys can remind me, has there been a Prime weapon that is not based on the Tenno design? And what I mean by that is, like, you know, the, the, um, the all the weapons, as far as I know, thus far has been based on Tenno stuff. You know, the Boltor, the Brett, and all that stuff, all Tenno, you know, Tenno-oriented, but... The Gram, I believe, is a Corpus weapon. I may be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it is. I mean, it does make sense because technically the Orican make, you know, or the, the Corpus worked for the Orican, which means that technically they could have, the Orican could have made these, which makes the Prime whole deal make sense. But anyways, but that's, I'm actually, I'm, I'm totally down for that because that means we can get Prime variants of pretty much anything at this point. So that's cool. Um, I'll take a Prime Grinlock, please, because I think the Grinlock's fun. But I'll take this. Um, with that said, I do remember DE say they didn't show the next prime, and that's probably because you know we just we just got a, a prime. So uh, if we show the next prime, that might be a little bit you know too much. But they said something about the. Anyways, everyone's everyone's assuming it's Chroma, uh, which would be cool. Um, I've I've come to love Chroma uh, with a uh, with a better build. I've come to learn to enjoy Chroma a lot more. So uh, I'll take it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Just I, just please make Mesa Prime soon, please, please. Anyways, um, I'm excited. I'm excited for all that. Um, there was also some uh, some sound stage stuff, uh, which had to do with you know the sound stuff and all that stuff. That was really fun to watch, but it's more informational if you really enjoy like the sound panel type stuff. Um, there are some videos uh, at Play Warframe for you to check out if you would like to see those. Um, but other than that, uh, the one quick thing I wanted to point out and mention is if you are part of Twitch Prime, I believe it is June 12th. I could be mistaken on that date. Uh, maybe it's, or not June, July 12th. Um, is going to be the Lissette skin that you see here if you are a member of Twitch Prime. Now, for this specifically, I wouldn't necessarily just automatically sign up for Twitch Prime um, because this isn't that big of a, of a deal to miss, but there are some pretty awesome rewards when it comes to Twitch Prime, so if you are curious about what you get by being a Twitch Prime member, uh, go check those out. Um, I believe Trinity Prime is in that group right now so it might be worth jumping on just for a trinity prime i don't know that's up to you i'm not gonna you know i'm not gonna make those decisions for you uh because it's kind of it's kind of you know it's a big deal it's it's money it's cash flow that you ain't you know anyways um with that said uh over the rest of the weapon ish stuff some of the smaller reveals are all going to come through uh, watching the experience we have when we go through Fortuna, which is the opening area of um, of, uh, of Venus, the open world Venus. So we are going to kick over and take a quick look. So when it comes to the the video, I'm going to kick it off. 
I'm going to have the volume crank down all the way down to pretty much nothing. There is a song in here, which is probably going to be copywritten. So we'll see. Maybe I just don't monetize this video. It's whatevs. But we're going to kick it off. We're going to get right in. We're going to see the opening cinematic to Entering Fortuna. And we are going to see Rebecca walking around and doing her thing. Um, we're pro I'm probably going to mute after uh, she touches down. And we will talk about some of the stuff we see. But here we go. All right, so there is uh, some music going on in the background. I don't know about you guys, but uh, after seeing or hearing this audio, almost everybody at Tenocon immediately went and downloaded or, or, or found this song and started playing it because it got stuck in all our heads. And it's super good. It's a really good song. So uh, if you're a big fan, uh, you know, maybe just put it on repeat. A lot of us did. Um, but... Because I'm keeping this so low for the sake of, you know, copyright reasons, whatever. And uh, number one, I know that the audio that this records at is fairly high. So that's why I have it so low. Anyways, uh, just jump over and you can watch this section, um, you know, through the Play Warframe website. Or uh, however you want to enjoy the song. And maybe even the cinematic if you uh, go to the Play Warframe, uh, you know, YouTube channel, whatever. But pretty cool. But you can see here a bunch of corpus all have augments. All, to some degree, have, have robotics, arms, and all sorts of gadgets and gizmos. These things are, uh, um, I don't want to say, I mean, they, they don't have a human head. I'm, I'm curious, what the heck? Because you can see over to the right, like, he's got human arms, but he's got robotic limbs and bodies and I'm so confused I want to learn more about the corpus um I mean what is, who are these I mean who are these I don't know anyways um it's cool it's 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 exciting I'm really interested to learn about these guys I'm really interested to get my hands on uh on Venus and the open world area and and just get in and enjoy it all because it's just number one the world when you see the open world it is gorgeous it is just it's amazing but uh here we go fortuna and then we are going to see rebecca drop from the sky as mag prime opening cinematic just like it was in cetus where he drops right in as a warframe and it gets right to gameplay you can see it's it'll snap here in just a second and it'll be gameplay time boom so here we are, and Rebecca is now able to walk around and do her thing. You'll notice that in Fortuna, it is a little bit more lively. There are more people around that seem to be, uh, number one, they kind of will, will say a little bit of something, maybe as you walk by or whatever. Um, there's some activity. You can see some stuff going on. Um, they, like I said, they're, it's a little bit more lively. Cetus was mostly like a marketplace. You can hear that there's activity uh, and a bunch of Tenno walking around and you know, Warframes, whatever, walking around doing their thing. But this is a little bit more like NPC. Like there's some, it's it's more lively and it's kind of cool. I w I'd like to see some more of that in the future. Um, but you can see here, weapons. So these are going to be modular weapons. Now, kit gun, that's what they're calling them. So they're calling them kit guns. Now, you can see here in the background... Uh, Rebecca is slowly just putting some together for a preview that you can see. There are going to be a number of projectile weapons, which are going to be both secondary or primaries, depending on how you build them. Uh, she didn't end up hitting the, the preview gilded button, so I'm kind of curious what these weapons look like, you know, finalized. However, I am going to throw a picture up for you guys real quick. Here is a batch of uh, the components for the modular weapons that you can see here. These are all the different parts that uh, I'm assuming are coming when this is released. So these modular weapons are, you can piece these together to make your own custom weapons, similar to the way you make custom Zaws. I would not be surprised if we will get more components in the future, similar to the way we did with the Zaws. So that would be pretty awesome. 
uh, uh, this next batch, you can see a group of weapons here, which are going to be all primary weapons that you can build based on how you, uh, you piece these weapons together. It is very possible that these are not all the weapon combinations. I, I don't know for sure. I'm assuming the receiver of the gun, the kind of, you know, the, the main part uh, where, where the bullets are, are entered and whatever, is what's going to decide if it is a primary or a secondary weapon. I could be wrong, um, but at the same time, there is also a set of com uh, components that could be put together to make the secondary weapons, which you can see here. And there's a, there's a load of these that can be built. And once again, I do not know if these are all the weapon combinations. And I do not know if there are more pieces coming. So that's interesting. We will have to find that out uh, when, when, when the time comes. So very interesting, very cool. Let's uh, continue on with our video and see where Rebecca heads off to. So that was Zood, or Zood. Zood, I think it's Zood when you put two U's together. Anyways, uh, he's doing his thing. That's who you're going to go see to make your modular weapons. Pretty cool. Now you can see Rebecca hopping up over the coolant river in the in the main town, heading over to this area, and yes, the Boone Boone here is our merchant for our uh, our Moas, our Moa companions. Which I I had a feeling these were coming. I mean Corpus, you know a Corpus location, and we've been hinted at Moas being a thing. Um, I mean it's just it's just meant to be. And look at this. You can custom build these MOAs out of different parts and all that good stuff. It's super cool. Change the head on it. I love it. I absolutely love it, DE. This looks super cool. I don't... It's. I can't really explain how much I, I love this, uh, this modular system. It's just very personal, very enjoyable to craft and create your own, your own uh, weapons and, and MOAs and all that stuff. I'm really excited. Keep it up, DE. If you can do more of that in the future, I, I'm, I'm on board. Thank you so much for, for, number one, listening to the community because people said they wanted MOAs, and you guys are like, yeah, yeah, we could probably make that happen. Let's try it. So there it is. Very interesting. And next up, we are over here at another merchant, uh, and this merchant's a little bit different. So you guys remember in Cetus, we had fish and whatnot that we could hunt and you know spear with our, our spears and we could come back and we could gut them and kill them and all that good stuff which was you know pretty interesting uh the business this guy he is going to set us up to i think we can fish i think we can still fish here so i'm not too sure how that works because we didn't show fishing uh just yet but they did show uh we'll say hunting but not hunting for the kill, as far as I can tell. We are going to be capturing wildlife. And that's really, really cool. We'll see some wildlife here uh, in, in the open world section. We're going to do a video on, on the big reveals, which is part of it. And we will get to see the, uh, the animals we get to hunt, which is really, really cool. So it's going to be similar to the Fulton system from Metal Gear Solid V, where you're actually going to track these animals... Uh, you're going to use some sort of animal call or something to attract the attention of these wild animals. And then when you do that, you're going to tranquilize these animals. Uh, maybe there's another way to do it without the tranquilizer gun, but you're going to tranquilize these animals and you're going to capture them. And you're going to send them back for standing and all that good stuff. So... Uh, that's really interesting. I'm really, really excited about that. It's just, it's just adding to the MMO, you know, kind of uh, RPG like aspect of the game, which I love. I love that. I, I still enjoy fishing um, because I didn't, I didn't grind like crazy fishing, so I'm, I'm still kind of okay with it. Um, but yeah, I enjoyed it. So before we go too far, before we kind of get into uh, the bounties, because we just talked about the hunting and tracking system. I'm going to show, first off, we're going to drop this in here. This is going to be the tranquilizer gun, which is going to be involved in the, the hunting of these, uh, these animals, this wildlife. Uh, I'll probably show this again in the big reveal when we actually do the hunting, so uh, I won't dwell on this. But there it is, looking pretty spiffy. Uh, it looks like there's the three different versions, so there's probably going to be a beginner, intermediate, and expert you know, version of this, similar to the way the spears are. Uh, and then there are 
these Venus harvesting tools, which I'm not too sure what these are going to be about. That's why I was curious if tranquilizing was not the only way to hunt these animals, or maybe these things stun an animal. Like if you throw it at it and there's like an electric pulse that stuns the animal, or maybe this has to do, these have to do with the fishing where you would, you know, chuck these into the water at the mechanical fish and it would stun them and, you know, would basically capture them. But in general, it would, you know, that's kind of the idea is capturing these things and not killing them. So I'm curious. I'm curious if that's what it's going to be. That's my predictions. But anyways, with that said, um, we have the bounty guy. This is Udico, the Solaris United, uh, you know, representative, which is going to be where we do our standing and get our bounties from. So this is pretty interesting. It seems like he has uh, some sort of corpus tool uh, or weapon of some sort, which is pretty interesting. I wonder if we will eventually get our hands on that. Um, maybe, maybe not. Um, but anyways, uh, Rebecca is going to go in there and accept some missions. So you can see here, just like we do have on Cetus, a batch of missions that we can accept. Uh, probably, yeah, we're pretty much ranging in difficulty. And you can see over here to the right, our rewards. So this is, you know, one of the one of the things that everybody tries to tries to get a peek at when it comes to new content. Um, sometimes the rewards are something that we have not talked about in you know so far when it comes to reveals, and this is kind of one of those one of those uh, those times. However, in the art panel they showed uh, some of this stuff off, but. Outside of the art panel, you wouldn't have really known un until you watched the big reveal. So what we have here is the Oxylus Sentinel. So a brand new Sentinel that's coming to the game, which is based around the Corpus. And you can see it down here in the, bo in the bottom right-hand corner. However, real quick for you, I will, throw up the <laughs> I will throw up the concept art that we saw at the art panel for you guys. So you can see that in uh, detail right here. So I think this thing looks pretty cool. Uh, I'm definitely down for another another Sentinel. Um, I don't know if you guys are you know all about you know the Sentinels or if you guys are more into the Companions right now. Um, I personally bounce back and forth depending on really what I'm going in for. But uh, I don't know. I, th I think it's interesting, and I'm definitely down to to try it out and see what this Sentinel has to offer. But with that said, getting back to the rewards, we have. Uh, some mods to take a look at. Now, these mods are a little bit unique, and these these appear as though they might be set mods because of the rank they can go up to. They can only rank up three times, and I'm curious if these are going to be set mods. I could be wrong um, because none of them seem to have the same name, uh, similar to uh, the, the set mods that we've had in the past. They have uh, very similar names so that you can tell they're a part of a set. But they do look like they are unique. And I say that because at the very top of these mods, you have, for instance, this tech collateral looks like it is for a Cavadera Kubro. Um, I, I cannot quite tell, but tech collateral uh, looks like it is a mod for a companion, which is very interesting. Underneath that, you can see Synth Reflex, which looks like it is a mod for a, a Sentinel. Uh, so, you know, there's another another deal for us, you know, a, another set of new types of mods. So that's really interesting. Uh, the Strain Consume. I can't, I can't twell. I can't tell exactly what this is for. I'm assuming this is the symbol for the MOAs that are coming. I could be wrong. But there's, uh, there's that, which is pretty interesting. And then underneath that, you can see once again another head that might be a Kavat or a Kubro. Uh, Mecha Empowered. And, uh, yeah, uh, maybe, I mean, it says Mecha, so maybe it is some sort of robotic. But anyways, there is another mod for us called Mecha Empowered. Interesting. So, mods. Pretty cool. Um, and this is where I was getting around to what I said earlier, is there were more weapons for us to look at. Not just the modular weapons, but there are also some corpus weapons we have not seen yet. And that would be the Batacore, which we can get a blueprint from doing some of these bounties. The Accusor or the Accucore blueprint, which you can see here, and then the Kreska blueprint, which you can see here. Now, of course, oh, I can't tell what those things are or what they do. Um, well, 
let's see if I can help out with that. So we have a picture from the uh, from the art. I think it was the art panel where we can take a look at these weapons up close. So you can see off to the left, the Kreska, which looks like a giant scythe, which looks pretty interesting. All corpus design, which I think is really, really cool. Uh, you can see the Acucor, which looks like some sort of secondary weapon, which I think looks pretty cool as well. And then up top in the top right, you can see the Batacor, which also looks pretty interesting. I'm not too sure what these are going to do. I can't tell if the Batacor is a sniper or like a designated, you know, rifle of some sort, like a Latron or something or a single shot, you know. Um, so I'm curious as what that's going to do. I wonder if they're going to be, you know, laser bullets or if they're just going to be bullet bullets, um, or if that secondary weapon is automatic or whatever. It's very interesting, but we do have a look at those. So that is very cool. Very interesting. So with that said, uh, we can kind of just let this go through. Rebecca does decide to go through with this weapon or this, uh, this bounty and she heads off to actually enter the open world. So the open world will be through these, uh, these, uh, this elevator shaft, basically, and that is where she is going to do to enter the open world. But like I said, this is just the small reveals video. Uh, I wanted to get all of that stuff out of the way because we have so much to talk about when it comes to the large reveals. So uh, I'm going to leave this video here. Uh, at the very end of this video, there is going to be the outro, of course, with a number of different things you can take a look at. But right now, I'm going to throw in the up in the right-hand corner the big reveals, uh, a, a card for the big reveals. So if you're watching this video and you have not seen that video and you want to basically pick up right here where I left off, you can do so by clicking on that. But that's going to be it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you are not subscribed and you would like to subscribe for future Warframe content and updates and uh, Tenocon stuff, whatever, you can do so. I would greatly appreciate it. Or if you would like to check out some other stuff I do on the channel, that would be greatly appreciated as well. But there's some information in the outro, such as places you can, you know, find me, such as, you know, uh, you know, the Twitter's all that good stuff, you know, whatever. There's a Discord link in the down there. Uh, you could do all that as well, and that would be awesome. I'd love to talk to you guys and hang out, but that's going to be it for me. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and I really hope to see you guys again very, very soon. But until then, blow.